<laughs> That's ridiculous. Are you joking? Dude, the zip is frozen. <laughs> this is just stupid. Everything's frozen. <laughs> Look at all this ice, man. Guys, it is still so cold. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't know how vloggers do it. Like I'm forgetting to talk into the camera so often because we're so focused on getting all the other stuff for the series. Like it's crazy. And if you're, if you're a photographer or a videographer, you can totally understand waking up to incredible lighting. You want to shoot anything and everything. And uh, this is the part that I forget to do. But I really want to do it. It's been interesting and kind of exciting to show, but more of a raw side to the videos I make. Um, who knows where it's going to go. But this morning was interesting because it was so cold. We physically couldn't take off the drone. The GoPros wouldn't turn on. I think we had a little bit left of a Sony battery to use between like three of us. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's been interesting. We just got the drone up just just before these clouds rolled in so uh, super happy with what we shot can't wait to show you guys and um, yeah I think it's time for a coffee my hands need it it's physically painful to pick up the camera but unreal morning super happy I'm out here ready to take on the day This is all I needed, boys. Just running to the other end of the runway with the tripod and the 300 mil because our friend Duran is about to land with his plane and join us for the next few days. It's gonna look sick. Dude, that looks sick. How's it going, bro? You out? <laughs> Cut. 
Come in, uh, Foxtrot. Come in, Foxtrot. Uh, Zulu Uniform Echo India Foxtrot. Are you talking to me? Foxtrot Zulu, what time can I expect a pickup? ETA 10 minutes. ETA 10 minutes. All right, Foxtrot Tango, I will see you there in 10 minutes. <laughs> As you can tell, it's more sunny. I'm in a better mood, I'm not as cold. <laughs> but we just arrived at spot number two. Literally every place we go to has the most unreal mountain range behind us. I'm kind of taking a walk up to the top here because I see a bit of a path up on that hill and I wanna see if we can get to that viewpoint. But yeah, very excited, we were told by some of the locals that last night's weather was very unusual. So I'm in high hopes that we don't have the amount of ice that we did last night. I think that's the coldest I've ever been. The guy's farm that we're staying on, he has a little section just down there. Uh, has a cool little fireplace. So at least this time we don't have to go find a log for a chair. We've got it all set up and uh, yeah, I think it's time to set up camp. Probably get some lunch. We have three planes with us. I know one of them is leaving later. And uh, yeah, it should be a cool evening. I'm just happy we have some sunshine and beautiful views. introduced you onto the videos for those of you that have been wondering who's been driving the Land Rover Defender. Yeah, that's me. That's been you, Anthony, the owner of uh, Lima Lodge or co-owner of Lima Lodge. We met when uh, we were locked down when I arrived back last year and been friends ever since. That was a blessing. Yeah, man, but our first proper little adventure together as well. Yeah, that's sick. I like it. I'm super happy. Way overdue. Crazy sunset. I don't know if you can see from here, but those mountains are going off right now. So I'm gonna pop the 300 mil on and uh, get that last bit of sunset light and uh, I think take it easy for the rest of the night. current setup sunset is going off
Sorry. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. <laughs>